Hey, Tyler. Yeah? I have a surprise for you. You got all A's on your report card. Really? I thought you forgot. No, a promise is a promise. What is it? Come on. Tag, you're in. <laughs> promise not to cheat? I'm not gonna cheat. Don't you open them. Okay. Open them. You can have any toy. Deserve it. Yes. Yes. Hi guys. You all set? All right. Your total is fifty-four dollars. I'm sorry. That's all I have. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're still eleven dollars short. Does that mean I'm not getting the toy? Tyler, baby, I'm sorry. We can't afford this. But you said if I got all A's, then I couldn't have got anything I wanted. You promise. This young mom is only one of some one and a half million Georgia residents struggling to make ends meet. She wants nothing more than to reward her son for a great report card, but clearly can't afford it. If you saw a mother coming up a few dollars short on this promise she made to her son, what would you do? I know. Maybe we save some money, we'll come back next month, okay? <sighs> okay. Today, we've taken over the toy aisles of Lizards and Lollipops in Marietta, Georgia, to test that southern hospitality. This first customer listens in as our mother breaks the bad news to Tyler. But I can't buy this right now. We'll save the money, and we'll come back next month, OK? But mom, I got all A's. Do you promise? She overhears our mother's plight. I'm sorry, let's put this back on the shelf. I'm really sorry. It's all right, thank you. I'm but sorry. she says nothing. Come on, sweetheart. As mother and son leave the store empty-handed. Oh. And without being asked, she tells our cashier why. It seemed scamish. It seemed was. It was just like enthusiasm. Have you seen anything like that before? You have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's sad, you know, if you're using your kids like that. A couple dollars short, I'd be like here, but yeah. it's 11 dollars short. Our actors are back at the register. I just don't have it right now. This was all I had set in my budget to buy you the gift. And once again, a customer clearly overhears. Do you have a credit card or anything? No, I don't have a card. I'm sorry. We just, things are tough right now. But he also decides to say nothing okay. as mother and son leave the store. You did good. I'm still very proud of you. We'll come back, I promise, okay? Why did he remain silent? I wouldn't make a scene at the cash register unless you were wanting someone to step up and say, hey, I'll pay for it. This just seemed fishy to you. It did. And I don't want to be nobody's fool, especially when I'm trying to do the right thing. You know, if somebody really needs help, I want to help them. When we first shopped this scenario 900 miles north in Wyckoff, New Jersey, Things are really tight right now. Money in my piggy bank I know, but I just need 15 more dollars. Most customers had no reservations helping our mom and son. Right now, sweetie. I got it. It's just a little too. I got it. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank, thank you. Back in Marietta, the grown-ups in the store haven't offered help to our actors. But will their luck change when this 12-year-old walks in with her grandma? It looks like it's $54. Oh, wow, that's more than expected. Mom, does that mean I, I can't have the toy? Immediately, she looks over, showing some concern for this fellow kid. This is all I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, looks okay. like you're just a little bit short. I know you helped your end of the bargain. She whispers to Grandma, and together oh God, they plot you. to help. But Mom, you promised me, though. I know, and you worked hard. And I'm so proud of you. And I work hard, but I need to just work She's a little harder. She's uh, nine dollars. Grandma picks up the balance. That's so very sweet. But tries to remain okay. anonymous. Oh no, 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 it's okay. If we can come back, it's all right. It's so kind, and I hope you, you feel so better. Welcome. I just can't wait. Time to meet this generous grandmother. 
Hi, how are you? I'm John Quinones. Hey! With the TV show, oh. What Would You Do? Oh my. <laughs> we could see you whispering to your grandmother. What were you telling her? I said, oh look, that little boy, it's so sad because he can't get his toy. So you knew if you told grandma that she would do it? She yeah. Would. Why? Because she always does that kind of stuff. She's really like <laughs> nice about it. <laughs> what should people take away from this? What kind of lesson? Just be kind to everybody you see because you never know what they're going through. It's a lesson other customers seem to have learned as they go out of their way to help Lorraine keep that promise to her son. But well, we're $11 short and I don't have it right now, so I'm going to save some money and we'll come back next month, okay? If he made all A's, I would love to help. Oh, he did, but um, are, you, are you sure? Yes, I don't have the cash. Can I somehow really... add it to mine or something? Did you make yeah. all A's? Mm -hmm. May I have your address to pay you back? No, um, did... no. <laughs> no, straight A. You got to get it today, right? Mm -hmm. This next customer immediately hands Lorraine the money she needs. Here. Oh, take it. It's fine. It's ma'am, I can't no, really. Take it. Take it. He deserves it, yes. Are you sure? Pasta. Oh. You don't get straight A's every day, right? Thank you. Thank you. You're <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> Promise. Just enjoy, okay? I keep studying off. And then along comes this last customer of the day. He's quite preoccupied with three kids of his own. This would be good. You like that buggy? You can push it around right here. Tyler, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Well, I don't think they're listening. Despite all our efforts, this is a little bit more than I expected. We just can't grab his attention. Again, they're not hearing it yet. Here's a bow and arrow for you guys. Shoots those darts. You can shoot mommy. After all, he is in a toy store with his kids. But you said if I got good grades, then I would have got the toy. I know I did. Give me one second. Mommy's looking. I'm taking to this room and you can help mom around the house. Yeah. Yes, sweetie. We make one final push. You're a little short. Mom, that means I can't get the toy? And that finally gets Kevin Sargent's no, attention. Okay, okay. No, I can come back. Okay, okay. is there another? No, I don't have. No, 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 insist. No, please. You look that He doesn't even ask how much she owes. He simply hands over his credit card. Mm -hmm. I, I can't yeah, pay you back. Okay. You have, no. I'm doing it for him. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Yep. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I'm John Quinones oh. with the TV show, What Would You Do? Oh, man. I thought you were so preoccupied. So My preoccupied. kids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no. That you didn't hear it. Right. I just heard her say she was a little short, and so I, uh... Just gave her my credit card. A couple of people today earlier said they didn't want to help because they, they thought she was a scammer. A lot of times people may feel that way, but the way I look at it is if you help people and say nine out of ten times they're not, and then the one time they are, you still help somebody. I'm okay helping the nine that are, you know, sincere for the one that might get me. It's, it's okay. You know, it's okay.